Hey, this is Steven Shives, and I'm coming to you this afternoon from, the, from my workshop where I've obviously accumulated way too much stuff, but the great thing about this stuff is I don't owe anything on it. It's, it's debt free. And if you want to get debt free today, I am here to help you. I'm going to share with you five things that you should never buy on credit. That's right. If you're buying these things on credit, if you're holding a balance on your credit card or any other type of credit account at a store or anything at the end of the month and you're not paying it off in full, you're in trouble. And here's five things that you need to never buy on credit in any way, shape, or form. If you want to stay debt free and you want to get yourself to a level where you feel freed up and not in bondage to, to indebtedness and financial burdens. One of those things is technology. You know, a lot of times we have to have the latest craze and we want to run out. We want to get the latest technology. We've got to have that new laptop. We, you know, we got to have that new thing. Technology, fads, things that are here today and then, and then tomorrow they've changed. You know, those beanie babies are great, you know, but don't put them on credit cards. If you got to buy that new com computer, don't put it on a credit card because here's the deal. The, the, not even the day you buy it, but the day you buy it, it's already obsolete. It's not going to be obsolete six months from now. It's obsolete the day it hits the store shelf. There's already a newer model in production, I guarantee you. And so you're putting that on a credit card. You're holding that debt. You're paying on it time and time again. Two years later, you're saying, wow, you know, I could have bought that for half the price. Don't ever put technology, fads, things that come and go. Don't ever put them on credit. You can live without them. People don't need these things if they could just be patient enough to wait. That big screen TV set that I have in my living room, two years ago it cost three times as much as what I bought it for because technology has a tendency to go down in pricing as they increase production. So be careful about that. Second thing you never want to put on credit, you never want to buy on credit is gifts. How many of you have ever gotten a gift that you didn't use? I see those hands out there. You, don't put, don't put gifts on credit. People are out there trying to impress other people with gifts. And, you know, are you serious? I don't need it that bad. You, you're not going to impress me by going out and putting a gift on a credit card that you can't afford to have. Just send me a card, call me on the phone, wish me a happy birthday. But, but don't go in debt. Don't put yourself in bondage to try to impress people or give things that, that, that you're trying to, to look better than the rest of the family. It's all, it's all a joke. It's all a trap that we get caught in. You know, the next thing you never put on credit, don't put vacations and travel on credit. You know, vacations are supposed to be a stress reliever. It's supposed to be a getaway. You know, we're going to get away, we're going to enjoy ourselves. And then we come back off that, that extended vacation and we get the bill and we're like, oh no, did we spend that much? I didn't know, I didn't know the restaurant and the hotel cost that much. And I, oh man, I wasn't thinking about the rental car and this. And, and next thing we know, we're paying off a, a supposedly a, a vacation, a retreat. We're paying where we can't retreat from it. We're paying for it for years on end. You know, if, if you can't pay cash, go, get, go down and buy yourself a $1.59 tube and float down the local river. Go out to the lake with your family. Enjoy it. Get away from the things of the, uh, uh, the stress and the stuff around you for a while, but don't add more stress on top of it. It's just, it's just going to make things worse in the long run, and it won't free you up to really live the kind of life that you want to live when you do have the money to go on vacation. The next thing you don't buy on credit, don't go out and eat, don't buy food on credit. You know, <laughs> Jesus said he knows what you have need of. Don't take any thought about what you eat, what you drink, what you wear. You know, you have all these things. I remember being so far in credit card debt and I thought, well, you know, we're so far in debt right now, what's the use? We may as well, you know, go out to eat. You know what this is? This. This is, this is last year's chicken alfredo on the olive branch. And so, <laughs> you, you know, not really, no, that's not true. It, it, so many of you are sitting out there with, with leftovers in your refrigerator. They've turned green and you're still paying on them on your credit card. Two years later, you're still paying for a chicken sandwich that you, that, that you went out and ate it somewhere. Don't put food on credit. It, you know, if you need food, call up a family member. Somebody, somebody's out there that will help you that you don't have to put it on credit, that you don't have to put yourself in bondage for. The next thing that I said, don't put clothes on credit. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of, of ways to buy clothing at, at affordable prices. This shirt I bought eight years ago at a local department store for $1.57. It's a $29 Van Heusen shirt. Two months after Christmas, I got it for $1.57. And, and, you know, and it's just as good a shirt as the idiot that paid 30 or 40 bucks for it. 
You don't have to put clothes on credit to, to try to impress people. If that's what impresses people, they're not your friends anyhow. So make sure that you pay cash, you stay out of debt. If you're not out of debt right now, get yourself debt free. And the only way to get there is to stop because most of us, uh, uh, most of us don't have money to burn. Yeah, so don't stop wasting it, stop throwing it away, and, and start living the life of freedom that you really want to live. This is Stephen Shives, and I'm helping you get free. If you'll stay with me, there'll be more to come. Have a great day.